How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome to Artificer Science of Magic, a game that has been in development for a pretty long time. We're still in a beta build here even though it's it's out now so as of today there will be the full build for yourselves to play so if there's any small little bugs or anything presumably they'll be ironed out. I, I'm, I just go ahead. I, I don't have a save. <laughs> It's an RPG adventure survival game, long in development, many delays, very excited that it's finally ready to show off. There's an adventure mode, there's always danger involved in the most exciting adventures, death is final, if you die you have to start over, or casual where you respawn. I think we'll mess around with the true death mode. The intro, the universe is full of secrets. Anomaly detected. In 2178, humanity caught a glimpse of one. A distant star kept blinking in the Mizar system. The effects there look really cool. The luminosity change was a mystery. Scientists all over the world focused on the anomaly. Orbital telescopes turned their eyes to Mizar to discover something groundbreaking. Science? Or magic? Or both? Life! Which is kind of a little bit of both, isn't it? <laughs> a search vessel was sent, research vessel, it's to search for research, but after three years, all contact was lost. The human spirit is not so easily broken. The people of Earth tried again, sending their best. <laughs> including a dog sending you Ooh, do we get to find remains of past missions because i love that sort of shit your ship is about to approach alcor and its secrets surviving on an alien planet could be cool king now we're just dancing around each other not quite checkmate oh king e6 they're playing chess what but I can move here. Pawn. Then here. Bishop. Then... Keep looking, maybe. Holy shit, what was that? <laughs> the dog's freaking out? That's code theta. Something went really wrong. We need to get to the escape pods. Quick, let's move. Come on, pup. Lead the way, because I don't know where to go. Presumably you have a little bit more familiarity with the system. Apparently you're the brains of this operation. I'm the charm, good looks, the muscle, a lot of other things. <laughs> but as long as you're the decision maker. There's a little bit of a dis Oh god, there goes all the crew. Jesus. Shit, there goes the route to the escape pods. There's a little bit of a disparity between how much they are running animation-wise and how fast they're going. I have a better, better idea where we're going. The shuttle bay, elevator, opposite side. Which, like, I don't know where I'm going. What am I, what, where do you want me to head towards? Is it, that's just where I came from, wasn't it? Uh, nothing, nothing on the screen is helping me here. There we go, luckily. Fuck, <laughs> Raymond, if these readings are right, Hawking's core is exploding. <laughs> The dog, brace yourself. This is gonna be rough. The dog's fuck, 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 fuck. Punch it, man. Punch it. I wish Scooby. Fuck. Bro, fuck me, Shraggy. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I I wish I wish there was an R-rated Scooby-Doo. That was almost what James Gunn's Scooby-Doo he wrote was. I'm alive. I'm alive. Damn it, shuttle's completely wrecked. Nanotech something. Sal Salazar? Salazar, are you here? Was that the dog? Is he Salazar? You're awake, Raymond. I need a med pack from the escape pod. I've got some piece of fuselage or something jammed into my rib. It's bad. I can hardly breathe. Uh, where are the others? Uh, it was in the tail section, right? Or where are the others? They should be around. Ship's AI chose this spot for optimal survival chances. We can try salvaging the comms, but I'm gonna bleed out unless you get me a med pack. It was in the tail section, right? The tail section's gone. It must have gotten separated during the crash landing. Should be around somewhere to, to the east. I'll go find it. What happened to the ship? Raymond, I'm bleeding out. <laughs> now is not the time to theorize. Continue? Got the med pack? I'm bleeding out. All right, end dialogue. We'll go searching. 
Ooh, there's kind of like a cool perspective where there's it's a little bit of a, a third dimension. Well, we better start collecting rocks. There's one thing we don't have enough of right now on this mission after this crash landing. It's rocks. <laughs> stones. And as long as we, we fill up on them, then perhaps if I get enough stones, I can, I can squeeze out some medicine from them. Or, oh, you can just start punching your way to some whale wood branch. I don't know how much I like the font in this game. A whale worm. Attack nearest monster. Oh, okay. That's kind of a convenient way of doing the battle mechanic. It's a little easier than trying to click around on this thing as it starts running around from me. <laughs> it's funny, though, because then I hit F to start attacking and there's like... He, I couldn't actually get to him. I can't seem to investigate anything really just yet. I have a sword, a journal. I'll worry about all that later. Right now, we should probably just worry about this wreck. Come on. Investigate? Interact? What? There's two med kits, so I'd better patch myself up. I mean, how the heck do I select one? To use current active item, I did I did I pick one up? I never noticed if I did. That's my health and my sanity. Well, now I got some uh, mushrooms and some twig leaves, but I'm I'm just trying to find the stupid medical supplies. This bee? Can I can I interact with this little bee? Not even. Oh, I got another worm coming at me. I can just hold F <laughs> instead of spamming it. I guess I should try to... Can I not collect anything from, from this? Inventory, survival, I, I have a tree that I can, like, branch up and out of. A backpack and, and a journal. I ended up restarting. And it seems that I kind of interrupted the tutorial by picking up stones and things. So now it's going to hopefully let me interact? Is that still somehow not the case? Oh, I just had to right click on it a bunch? Luckily the supply locker survived. Then I can move through all my different things here. Communications device used to switch tracking. Signal detected. First aid kit, a flare, and some paper. So I can select my different things. There's two med kits, so I'd better patch myself up too. I think uh, when it has the magnifying glass, you just have to you hit it a whole bunch of times until you learn things. Gained three survival research points. You examined the tree and named it Whalewood. And right now, this is just like a bush. I researched it a bunch. You get all that knowledge. Gained five research points, and I named it the Red, red Twig. And then I, then I could go and gather all that up. So that's... That was what it, why it wasn't working, is you basically just have to, like... I probably can just hold, can't I? You totally can just hold rather than spamming the button. That makes a lot more sense. Uh, but that's kind of cool. That Sorry about the... It's, it seemed like it was the game's fault. That was me jumping the gun. Because I was kind of, I, I guess, familiar with this genre of game and knew roughly what I like needed to be doing in terms of collecting items and things. You can't research the stone. Stone is stone. <laughs> There's not going to be anything to, to be learned there. Uh, so I can, I can use the med kit on myself first off, as was recommended, and the subtle sh signal. Ah, cool. So that's just letting me know how far away I am from, from the shuttle. Here I am, 100%, right there with it. Here you go, pal. Thanks, Ray. Help me apply this. <laughs> it's probably hard with this, this little pause. Together you managed to patch the dog's wounds. Now live. Now go figure out the next steps. Let's discuss our situation. What happened to the ship? We can talk about that now. We were hit hard by some kind of kinetic weapon. Sections of the ship decompressed and then Hawking's core was punctured, which resulted in a massive thermonuclear explosion. The debris hit our shuttle. We're lucky to be alive. I found the comm link. How do I use it? No one's sending any audio. However, it can track the shuttle transponder and other signals. You can switch the modes on the device. It'd be useful to find your way back here or to look for other survivors. What do we know about Alcor? Apart from it being the anomaly that uprooted the scientific world? Not much. Less than 1G oxygen rich atmosphere? The ship we've been sent after, the Thabit, had not sent any data back. The biosphere looks amazing and a little bit frightening. 
Yeah, the trees howl when you get close to them. For real. I've also seen movement in the bushes. There are certainly predators here. Yeah, they seem like they're just worms. Pet the dog. The Twitter pet the dog can know that that's an option. You pet Salazar. It cheers him up. Thanks, man. Glad to know you like it. What do you think we should do next? Get a fire going before it gets dark. There's bound to be predators here. You can use the shuttles as a bench, uh, workbench. There's some tools here. Explore the vicinity, gather supplies. You've been to a survival class, Ace, hadn't you? Will you help me gather materials? I'd rather stay with the ship, run some tests. He's a research dog. <laughs> okay, yes, I am scared. I don't have an opposable thumb or my mech suit. I'm a doctor of chemistry, not Gil Fleurs. Is that supposed to be like Bear Grylls? I guess. Well, good talking to you, bud. You do your thing. Oh, the nearest object gathering is incredible. That's so damn useful. I need to go find some Whalewood branches. Uh, I'll probably want to get a, a fire going, research desk, bunch of bunch of, of basics that I need to worry about. All right, gather up a few stone. Hopefully, gather some resources here. There's nothing to learn there. Herb lore research unlocked. So, oh, oh, do you know what? I do want to try unknown signal. I do want to try and make my way towards that. I feel like that'll be exciting and interesting as well. Is that in my journal? Research? Is that in my research? Herb lore. Literal stem research. <laughs> Click uh, to scribe a research scroll. Research the scroll at the research desk. Okay. Basic survival training. Stop, plan, execute, assess. Do not panic. Click for more information. It's not the strongest or the most intelligent who will survive, but those who can best manage change. I'm sure I can get really into all that. Basically, these basic skills are basically the basic skills are how I I get to know uh, right off the bat how to new how to do some very general specific things like creating the the campfire and an axe and everything. So I'll just gather all that up. I like the idea of progressing your research, like being scientifically minded in this game and working towards that stuff. Uh, I'll craft myself an axe. I'll craft a pick. Uh, the paper, I can't quite do just yet. I need to find logs for, for anything else. Now the question is, do I need to equip the axe? Or will I automatically start using it? I feel like I probably need to actually equip it. So let me pop that in. Research scrolls, we can worry about that later. Now let's see. Oh, here we go. Here's how you get the axe working. And I get some logs out of this. It took it a while to fall down. Nice. I just, I would like to know that I have uh, logs to come back to. This only works when it's literally in hand. So that's quite important. Uh, I can build it. Hopefully it counts my backpack stuff. I can build the desk. Where did it just put it? Oh, good. It's in my. It's here in my inventory. All right, let's get let's get the desk going, and then from here, press R to research, access research tree, and scribe some research scrolls. I've already done that, so can I? How do I use them? I'd like to apply it. There we go. That's what I'm trying to do. Do I need to like do something here? Just just mix ingredients there's gonna be like a specific ordering to it it likes a lot of moon and sun stuff did I do it <laughs> gain points by examining uh, alien flora and fauna fill the bar to this level oh so restart oh some of them add some of them subtract this is quite tricky, actually. This is a tricky little puzzle. <laughs> I have to be able to precisely line those up. Oh, re reset. I have an idea. These two minus this guy and plus the sun. Oh, it's too much. 
Dang, how much does this subtract? Not enough research points. Oh no! I wasted all my research points and didn't actually succeed. Shoot. That seems very difficult to pull off. I Now that I understand it better, I, I, I'm realizing, you know, I wasted quite a bit there. I shouldn't have been doing it the way that I was. Terrible way to spend my resources. Well, th like, the trial and error isn't infinite. I can't just, like, be like, yeah, it'll eventually work itself out if I just stick with it. And sooner or later, it'll it'll be perfect. It's like, no, I think I have to be, like, incredibly aware. I might even want to, like, write some things down. Come up with my own metric of the sun is plus one, the moon is plus four, this is minus two, that's minus three. And, like, actually work backwards and, and properly figure that out. Which is not at all what I expected from this game. But I kind of respect that detail. That's pretty cool. Fire, too far. Uh, oh, it has to be outside that little area. Get some branches, get a nice fire going. I'm not going to worry about that just yet. Instead, I'm going to pursue this signal. M might not be that far off. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, God. What is happening? This is terrifying. I was too busy. I, that's not even the signal that I, I want to be... Uh, want to be at no, no no i want you to put the branches in there come on come on come on come on <laughs> the os osimian oh i can't i can't research them obviously but actually can i stay and fight with my axe oh he can resist it he's got axe resistance somehow oh shit i put all my branches on the ground <laughs> all right i don't like this I want to have a fire built now, please. Interact. Branches. Uh, and then what? Results slot. Fire, please. Oh, good. Oh, okay. Who? They seem to be afraid of fire. But that's like clearly... Oh, it's if this is if I want to burn something. What if I burnt this log? Then I get charcoal. Is charcoal a better fuel, perhaps? Where the logs themselves are probably a better uh, better fuel. Oh, that was a, a stressful moment there. Didn't like it. <laughs> I, uh, I'm going to gather up some branches and things. But I can't really go too far. I got to stick close to the fire. I didn't realize how quickly it, it, it was becoming night there. That really snuck up on me. That was terrible. I guess I guess if I'm if I'm gonna cut down trees, I got to do ones that are near. Maybe I just focus on my stone gathering for the time being. I, I that that log's gonna burn up very quickly too. Salazar, I hope you're able to contribute to chasing these guys away. Oh man, we gotta get some more logs on the fire. <laughs> I don't trust that this will uh, stay lit long enough. I better, I better contribute more to that immediately. Oh, the logs take a long time. Select, right click to select like half of them. That's pretty typical of this, this type of game. Oh, holy crap. My instinct was to, you know, work on a fire. What is this? Centipede poison? I wasn't prepared for, I didn't even know this thing was there. Oh, I can't even really chase after it. Or else it'll get me. I assume this axe will eventually break. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Back to the fire. Oh, come here, wormy. <laughs> There's a lot of just running back and forth. I want to collect these logs. I want that worm to come for a quick showdown. There we go. And now I can research this thing properly. The exopathogy research. Whaleworm autopsy research unlocked. Is that a specific thing? What did that add to, do we think? Hmm. Ooh, survival research. Just for, for lasting through a day there. Oh, that's where the charcoal ended up. 
I accidentally made a, a fair amount of it. And I, I don't think you'll need a rope to carry this corpse or a knife to harvest it. All right, all right. There's, uh, there's a lot to work towards, apparently. Oh, I, I, I keep doing this. No, 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 no. Unknown signal is what we want to be working towards. I just keep directing myself to my own signal. Do I do I feel like the axe alone is a good enough weapon? Ooh, kind of, maybe, sort of. But I'm going to risk it. But I, I also feel like I could dedicate a bit of time to, to researching, expanding the brain while we're at it. We found a, a whale wood and a laminar. I'm trying to keep my eye out for anything new and researchable. Oh no, it's Albert. No signs of life. You never did beat me at chess, old boy. Now I suppose you'll never have the chance. The only chess grandmaster is the dog. These lesions don't look like crash wounds. Something did this to him. Or someone. Or something. Damn. Well, received another signal. Better check it out. I think we do a, a quick bit of research. Keep the worms away. Examining. We won't be needing these, Albert. What did I scoop up from him? First aid kit, which, good. Honestly, I, I would... I would like to hang on to that. Oh, yeah, you bring it on, man. Oh, he poisoned me. Of course he did. Can Here's the thing I was most curious about. I've The research is done. I can't, like, re-research it. I've, I've learned everything I can. A mush cane, and then, I don't know, a heap of sand. <laughs> Looks like sand. However, that's what you discovered. You don't, you don't like sand. You don't like it. <laughs> but we found it anyways. Good for good for us finding finding ourselves a nice helping of sand. Presumably it has some useful crafting applications. Oh, you can't actually harvest sand. Alright, no idea what the sand's all about. Do we go in search of another unknown signal? Off in the other direction. Good. I mostly just didn't want it to take me further away from camp yet again. It seemed a little dangerous. I should collect some of this stuff while I'm out here. Who knows? I, I, I should avoid needing to come back too frequently. Seems like a bit of a waste of time. Just, just make use while I'm here. This game's starting to come together. I'm better appreciating what it's going for. The way that it is more uniquely making use of some of the survival and research mechanics in, in a way I was unfamiliar with. So I like that quite a lot. I'm I'm uncertain though. Like I spent quite a few research points and it's just like uh, there's got to be a limited amount of them on the planet, right? So I, I feel like I got to be so much more careful with it than I had been. All right, uh, we're, we're restarting this. And I, I just got to bring you down. Tiny notch. <sighs> it's so difficult. Damn you. Oh, they both take away so much. I'm going to end up wasting it all again. Big subtraction. I still haven't really seen how much that takes away. Specifically, oh, get out of here. I don't know between the two of them which takes away more. Yes! Herbal research complete. Hell yeah, I'm so excited that I completed at least one of those. Since I have it... Oh, I don't, I don't have another one. That's the only one. Alright, let's just worry about that for now then. Let's take a look at it. Please don't. Please stop running away. <laughs> research, see what we discovered. Uh, when you smoke the herb, it reveals you to yourself. I could read through all that another time, maybe. For now, I'm just curious. An LJ bandage, a stone and mortar pestle, stone mortar and pestle, <laughs> crude device to crush rocks into powder and plants into pulp, a trail marker, uh, a mush cane pulp, don't know what that would be for, and a bubble muffin pulp. I guess those are for eating, mostly? Heat treatment, exothermic oxidation makes everything better. 
and a makeshift construction raise the roof that's i'll worry about that instead i think and in, in this case i will ah, i can come back to it i can come back to it i think my focus right now needs to be on tracking this other signal and and seeing what they might need i feel like uh, i don't want to leave my crew totally stranded here and before i round out the episode i'd like to kind of discover some more story it's maggie the zoologist she had a few weird pets this looks like one of them oinkstein the pig he was supposed to be really smart is he smarter than salazar Pff, not smart enough yeah burn <laughs> got another signal Seems like you're kind of being mean to that animal, though. I'll take these. Probably just more med kits, I think, was the, the main thing there. Some land seaweeds? Snakeweed bending. <laughs> Damn, that's super sharp. Sharp. Gotta be careful around those. Oh, perhaps that's how we could go around making... Oh, making a knife. You cut your hands harvesting it. I'm hurting myself by picking this up very slightly very slightly but i still am that makes me more tempted to to think that the snake weed bending wicked wicker working <laughs> like might be worth working towards i don't know how much day is left so i i'm a little hesitant to venture out again instead i'll worry more about the makeshift constructions it's totally different it's a totally new type of puzzle. Oh, it's going to be kind of like Mastermind. Well, that worked out incredibly well. Oh, that puzzle was way easier to solve than the other one was. Holy cow. So with this, it's, a, it's good to watch the rain from a dry standpoint. I can make a tent and a crate for, for simple storage. Never found a shell. I have five snakeweed twigs logs stone this seems like something i can actually uh achieve in in the day here i'm gonna go about harvesting what i need for that oh taking my drink of water and next thing this stupid worm sneaks up on me apparently the tree was far enough gone that it just kind of toppled itself oh is that the music or is that something howling at me to indicate that it's like nighttime? What am I missing? I need to go find a, a bunch more. Some more of the snake weed. Whatever, the sharp stuff. I need more of all, all of this. I guess I can gather the mushrooms while I'm at it. Oh, I can chop these down too? No, that was me chopping the log. It's different. Not my focus right now, dude. Worry about, worry about gathering these. I, I have nothing. Nothing on the screen that seems to be telling me day versus night. Which is a little bit worrying like maybe it's getting darker it's genuinely quite hard to tell i think i have everything i need oh hell yeah that's really exciting actually to to have a tent already too far get closer to build oh that's what the, that's what the issue is there all right that's where i want it that's where i want to stick this boy ah oh, i can i can put everything inside have it nice and and well looked after i i guess i could i could take that down and, and tuck it away within here I don't, I don't have like a bed or anything the heat treatment seems like it would be used I'll, I'll just i'll just do both of those since it costs nothing do you know what dismantle it and the fire possibly take everything indoors Salazar, buddy, you want to come inside with me too and just kind of ride things out in there? Uh, what are our next steps? Great job with the fireplace. Now that we're relatively safe, we should look for survivors. I mean, you look. I'll s you look. I'll stay here and analyze the environment. Are there any communicator signals? Yeah, I'll check them out. I found some. You found someone? Why the long face? Oh, Raymond. No one survived. Don't lose hope. Keep looking. Man, if we are to survive this, you gotta stay strong. Please, Raymond. I depend on you. Well, I, in some ways, I depend on you too, Salazar. We're here for each other. Yeah, let's... Let's run inside for the night, is my thinking here. 
stick a workbench, plop a fire right in the middle. Let's get this roasting. Hopefully that's allowed. No. Okay. The ash I don't need right now. Oh, I used all the logs to build the shelter. <laughs> All right, we got to be quick about this. There's going to be the monsters coming real soon. I got to get some trees chopped and worry about keeping the fires lit. What is this that we're harvesting right now? I don't... Oh, logs. Logs. Good, good, good. It's just kind of hard to see what my character is doing right now. I would like three logs. And do you know what? Let's burn up some mushrooms. Just to see what happens. Wait, did it tell me it won't? No, it's saying this is a slot where things will burn. But I'm not seeing any progress. What about if I burn the mush cane? Or the algae? Just to try, just to experiment. It's all about researching and learning. Doesn't seem like it. Won't, won't worry too hard about that. I don't know how useful ash will be, but I might as well try and create some more. Spend a bit of time uh, with the snake weed bending. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> I wish there was a, an X somewhere on here to click instead of just having to hit E. It seems weird to not have that. None of them are sun. Great. So lucky. That it was the last thing I tried. <laughs> That's <laughs> kind of sucks for me. And here's the other one. Heat treatment. This is new. Oh, I bet it's match two. Ooh, and I have a, apparently another branch. Primitive warfare or something. Maybe that's one step beyond the snake weed thing. I'm typically quite good at these sort of matching games. And I'm hopeful that that pays off here and now. Oh, there's only a couple different things that actually can be matched. Like, there's not that many different uh, icon types. <laughs> so I'm sitting here all cocky, and that was a pretty easy version of that sort of puzzle. Had enough research points to get through all of it. Uh, now, I in my research tree, the snakeweed bending. This time, grass cuts you. <laughs> it's pretty funny. I can make rope, strong rope, with memetic properties woven from snakeweed. Keep one handy to haul heavy objects like monster corpses. What just happened? Oh, there was research, survival research points that I just gathered up. Great. So just surviving days earns you more points. That's really useful in the long term. No rings, no armor, anything like that to equip. Ooh, was there also... No, those are just decorative... And the other thing, heat treatment. Any problem can be solved with the proper application of high explosives. I can have a kiln for making clay. I can make glass. Oh, so these are this. I would need a kiln to do this. Uh, paper, charcoal, glass flask, charcoal torch, and a standing torch. And primitive warfare. I, I mean, I guess all of a sudden, I, I, I guess I might as well give that one a try too. I didn't mean to do that, but I clicked it and it happened. Simple puzzle. Oh, it half, it partially worked. Hmm. Okay. I'll take it. Primitive warfare. If civilization has an opposite, it is war. A stone spear and a shell knife. I haven't found shells yet, but all of a sudden I have a way to drag around corpses and a way to use a, a, a knife to investigate them. There's a lot of branching possibilities here. I think this is so cool. The game is has so much more to offer than I was expecting. It might be one of the best uh, survival games I've played. There's like don't starve and stuff or fun and exciting and exhilarating because you're just trying to live and push yourself. There's like a story here that I'm genuinely invested in and like I want to know more. And the research aspect appeals to me so much. I really dig this. Guys, the game is out now. Link down below. Check it out for yourselves. Thank you so much for watching and please let me know if you want to see more of this. I'm going to leave it as a one-off, but if people are down, then I, I will absolutely play more. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon.